of course we got the Mel Gibson tapes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Regular radio can't touch this shit. What's the backstory, though? Uh, Mel Gibson was married for many years, had a lot of kids with his wife, and then... 28 uh, years. 28 years, dumped her. Then he found some... Uh, Hot piece of ass. Crazy Russian model chick, or whatever she is. Yeah. And obviously the relationship is going bad already. And she's there taping him on the other side of the conversation, and then releasing it to everybody. And he is losing his fucking mind. <laughs> so why don't we play the first uh, Mel Gibson tape, uh, the racist one. It's a quickie. Yeah. Trying to breastfeed with first the, one. Uh, fucking foreign bodies in you. So was that it? It has nothing to do with it. Oh, it had nothing to do with what? The fact that you had foreign bodies in there? Correct. Correct. Okay, good. So you're not lying to me about fake tits. I have never have. Yes. Yes, you just did. You said they weren't. You fucking lied to me before. What? I didn't. I never said a, I never said anything of a kind. You never asked me. I never told you. Or maybe you asked me, but I never lied about this. Not a lie. Who cares? So they look ridiculous. Get rid of them, why don't you? Anyway, uh, you know. That's not none of your fucking business. What it is. Like. It is. They look stupid. I'm just telling you. It's just an appraisal. Keep them if you want. Look stupid. See if I give a fuck. <laughs> you know. But they're too big and they look stupid. They look like some Vegas bitch. They look like a Vegas whore. <laughs> and you go around sashaying around in your tight clothes and stuff. I won't stand for that anymore. I don't. I don't, I don't walk I, around. I don't, I don't walk. To be that. I don't walk around in tight clothes. I stay at home for you most of the time. In public and it's a fucking embarrassment to me. You look like a fucking bitch on heat. And if you get raped by a pack of niggers, it'll be your fault. All right? Because you provoked it. You are provocatively dressed all the time with your fake boobs. You feel you have to show off in tight outfits and tight pants and stuff. You see your pussy from behind. Ooh. And that green thing today was enough. That's provocative. Okay? I'm telling you. I'm just telling you the truth. I don't like it. I don't want that woman. I don't want you. I don't believe you anymore. I don't trust you. I don't love you. I don't want you. Okay? okay? Stay in the fucking house. I'm not giving it to you, but I'll let you stay there. Okay? Uh, Do we know where this went bad? Not sure. Not um, sure, because obviously um, it went bad before this phone call during started. Mel's upbringing, <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> uh, in, in Australia. Tape number two. I'm hoping there's a tape number three. Yeah, there has to. I'm hoping. I'm telling you, if when we get it, the way you hear the tape number two end, oh. there's a tape three. You, you know what? You're absolutely yeah, right, because yeah, I'm yeah. thinking to myself, why would it just end there? It's very abrupt. Tape three. <laughs> tape three on yes. the way. Coming up, <laughs> Spicks, Kikes, and Niggers from Mel Gibson. <laughs> 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 tape three. <laughs> what a naughty boy Mel is. <laughs> Mel's fresh. Stay on this phone and don't hang up for me. I can. I have plenty of energy to drive over there. You understand me? And I will! <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite parts. Oh, 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 it's great. <laughs> oh, is he angry? Oh, <laughs> poor I, dummy. Stay on this phone and don't hang up for me. I can. I have plenty of energy to drive over there. Oh. You understand me? And I will! <laughs> so just fucking listen to me! I gotta stop it again, I don't know. I will! Fantastic And I stuff. will! It's almost as if someone is sitting there going, I bet you won't. <laughs> right. I bet you won't. <laughs> right, can, we, can we hear that again? With, I, turn, I think there's a little voice I heard. The tape has to be turned up a little. Okay, I'll turn it up here, and here we go. Stay on this phone and don't hang up for me. I can. I have plenty of energy to drive over there. You understand me? No, you won't. And I will! <laughs> so just fucking listen to me! Listen to my fucking ranting! Listen to what you do to me! I didn't do anything to you. She's reading her lines, huh? No, she's a, she's a stiff Russian, but she knows that she's going to goad him into being this angry. But again, he's just an angry guy, I think. And if she sounds very calm and reasoning, yeah. reasonable on the phone, she knows that he's going to sound like the complete lunatic that he sounds like. Right. So. Now we're going to be called misogynistic assholes again. I can't believe you're taking the side of Mel Gibson over well, this. I'm, Not, I'm, hey, who doesn't you know, know Mel Gibson is, is in a kook? You. you are ruining my life. You make my life so fucking difficult. Well, you know what? It's you'll a be a woman that fucking supports me instead of a woman that sucks off me and just fucking sucks me dry and wants and wants get out of this relationship if you're a good woman and you love me. What I am... don't believe you anymore. What am I? What did he just say? Of your bullshit. Has any relationship ever worked with you? No. 
<laughs> wow. By the way, this is the, the discussion. If Opie and Anthony ever break up, this is the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> Fuck you, you're hard to work with. Fuck you, you're the one who's divorced. <laughs> you're Mel Gibson. Right. You're Why the are you putting up with this? You're the punchline when everyone goes, oh, who do you think I am, Mel Gibson? Right. Like, why don't you go out and fuck Mel Gibson? Like, you're the guy everybody references for a woman to fuck. And there he is. Oh, just yeah. miserable and yelling. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't love me because Fuck. somebody who loves does not behave this way. No, I do not. I hang know, on a second. I'm like this I know One second. You do not love me and you treat One me with second, no please. Can I, I please love speak? you because I treated you with every kindness, no. every consideration. You no. rejected. You I'm will sorry. never be happy. Fuck you. Um, Get the fuck away from me. But my daughter is important. All right. Now you have one more chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he fucking steaming? Very dramatic. <laughs> One more chance. Did you catch the Roland in him when he goes, important? Important. important. Fuck you. Um, Get the fuck away from me. But my daughter is important. All right? Now, you have one more chance. And I mean it. Now fucking go if you want. But I will give you one more chance. <laughs> <laughs> you make me want to smoke. You fuck my day up. You care about yourself. You're so when I selfish. have been so fucking good to you, you fucking I didn't to do me. anything. I did not do anything. This is your selfish imagination. That's but all. You should just fucking smile and blow me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, that's a great fucking How do you not laugh at that? You should, How do you not laugh at that? You should just smile and, and blow, blow me. me. Oh, what a great t-shirt. <laughs> it, it has to be made. Oh, is this guy great? Right. You should just smile and, and blow, blow me. me. Oh, shit. Can we hear that line one uh, more time, uh, please? One, eight, one. Eight How more. about five more times? Love it. You should just fucking smile and blow me. <laughs> the way he says it with such gusto. Well, well, he's he is yelling Mel. everything he is out like he yelled out freedom right. at the end of right. Braveheart. It's just with with that same energy. <laughs> Jen, that's all. You should just fucking smile and blow me. Because I deserve it. I... I'm sleeping with a baby. I'm waking up every two hours. I fell asleep because I was waiting for you because you weren't ready to go to jacuzzi as we agreed. Who the fuck cares? We agreed nothing. You agreed. You just fucking expect shit. Go to the goddamn jacuzzi yourself. Go fuck the fucking jacuzzi. It's a sin. I was just... no fucking soul. I didn't blame you for and anything. My soul is screaming because I was you just waiting to sleep. You have no fucking soul. You can't give a fuck. I left my wife because we had no spiritual common ground. You and I have none. Zero. You won't even fucking try. God, He's going to have a stroke. Is he jerking off? <laughs> He's going to have a fucking stroke. <sighs> Dude, he real wow. he sounds like an alcoholic to me. He this to me sounds yeah. like the rantings of a guy who is a drunk. I mean, it sounds like that unless he's just a dry drunk or I, I don't know, man. That's my opinion of it. But God, I would get drunk and this is how I would talk. You don't care. You don't care. You just enjoy insulting me. That's all. Fuck you. The I so fucking do because you hurt me so bad. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything, and I apologize for nothing. I did not do anything, and I apologize for nothing. What? 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 Stop. You apologize for nothing? Stop. Well, then you're a dishonest cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad we're laughing? No, dude, we've okay. all had these arguments. At least Mel had I, the fucking the, the, the guts to throw a punch. I just talk shit. But I, I listen to this. How'd that not get laughed? Jesus Christ. Sorry. sorry. So they'll put that on fucking, they'll put that on Breitbart and just quote me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 
I, I hear this uh, stuff and I, I openly laugh and then I think to myself, what is wrong with me? But there's nothing. other people are laughing, right? This Hilarious! Is, this is... Oh, I apologize for nothing. Stop. I knew a dishonest cunt. Stop screaming. Because you need to apologize for a reason. I wanted to peace. I wanted to have peace. Keep, because... keep peace. Because you're unbalanced. Good enough for me, and instinctively I feel that. You're and I will unbalanced. not be patronized by you you're and unbalanced. your fucking dishonesty and apologizing. You need medication. You apologize because you know you're wrong. You need medication. So I'll accept. And if you will not fucking admit that, get the fuck out. Then I will make your goddamn life miserable. All you right? Need, you need medication. What? You what? Have. There's the what again. That's my favorite part. You need what? 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 And he heard her. What? Right. right. By the way, how happy is Mel Gibson's ex-wife? <laughs> oh. And what a kind he hooked up with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You need medication. What? You, what? you need medication. I need a woman. <laughs> Not a fucking little girl with a fucking dysfunctional huh? cunt. <laughs> I need a fucking woman. I don't need medication. You need a fucking bat in the side of the head. Right. Oops. No, maybe they're both right. You need a bat in that side of the head. He's saying she needs it. He's actually offering a suggestion. Maybe he thinks <laughs> that she needs a bat in the side of the head. Who said it's a baseball bat? Could have been a little flying animal. Yeah. You need a fucking bat in the side of the head. All right? How about that? You need a fucking doctor. You need a fucking brain transplant. You need a fucking... You need a fucking soul. I need medication. I need someone who fucking treats me like a man, like a human being, with kindness, who understands what gratitude is because I fucking bend over backwards with my balls in a knot to do it all for her and she gives me shit like a fucking sour look or says I'm mean. The fuck is that? This is mean. Get it? You get it now? What mean is? Get it? You fucking don't care about me. I'm having a hard time and you fucking yanked the rug, you bitch. You fucking selfless bitch. Don't you dare hang up on me. I can't listen to this anymore. You hang up, I'm coming over there. Please. I'll call the police. What? I'll call the police. What? You fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he rolls. He does roll. I want him to argue for me every time I fight with my chick. He's the greatest. <laughs> what? What? You what? fucking cunt. <laughs> wow. You hang up. I'm coming over there. I'll call the police. What? I'll call the police. You fucking cunt. I'm coming to my house. You're in my house, honey. You just You're me. in my house. It's... So I'll call the police and tell them there's someone in my house. How about that? <laughs> you can do that. That's fine. Fuck you. I don't, involve, I don't involve the police in anything because I stand up for myself. You, you weak cunt. You call the fucking cops. <laughs> then I will go to Alessia's right now. Why don't you fuck off to that cunt bitch Alicia? <laughs> <laughs> she could have mentioned anybody, and he would have said that. I'm going to call the president. Call that cunt fuck president. It didn't. Any name she mentioned was going to get a, a C bomb thrown at him. Then I will go to Alessia's right now. Why don't you fuck off to that cunt bitch Alicia? She was fucking making eyes at me. She'd have sucked me in five seconds. Take that one up with her. She would have sucked me in five seconds. <laughs> oh, she was making eyes at Mel. Yeah. She, and he's probably and Mel right. Knows. He's Mel Gibson. She was fucking making eyes at me. She'd have sucked me in five seconds. Take that one up with her. I was trying to spare your goddamn feelings. She'd have blown me in five seconds. She's not your friend. You don't have any fucking friends except me. And you treat me like shit. So that's why I'm so fucking angry. Because I don't have any friends. And I try and make one for you and you treat me like shit. And you fucking use me. The career is over. And boy, when I said that, you lit out of here faster than I've ever seen you before. And now you'll be at Alicia's place. You just showed me what you are. Absolutely, unequivocally. 
I don't care if you don't spend I another thing. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. So I don't. Listen to me, Mel. What? I don't give a damn if you don't spend <laughs> another penny on me. I don't care. I am just. I am just fearing for the life of my daughter. Daughter. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm. Listen. Because I'm saving my life and I'm saving daughter's life. That's what I'm doing. I don't give a damn about my music and I don't give a damn about you spending another penny. I'm saving her life. You almost killed us. Did you forget? <laughs> that is just. <laughs> Whenever the chick makes this. a point, Mel's just going to be a dick about it. <laughs> uh, Could be the greatest laugh ever. Oh, this guy has definitely done this before. Oh, dude. Yeah, well, you're angry for that. You almost killed us. Did you forget? <laughs> You were hitting a woman with a child in her hands. You, what kind of man is that? Hitting a woman when she's holding a child in her hand, breaking her teeth twice in the face. What kind of man is that? Mm, oh, you're all angry now. You're gonna get you know to. What? You know what? Fucking you're gonna answer one day, boy. You're gonna answer. Huh? Bear. What? What? what nothing. Me? Nothing. I'm not the one to threaten. I'm threatening. I'll put you in a fucking. Rose Garden, you cunt. Hey, he's, he's still a romantic. He so promised yeah, her yeah. a Rose Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it threat? At least he's still a romantic yeah, right to the end. Right. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to buy you flowers, you cunt, <laughs> and a chocolate box. You could threaten to you know, bury her in a garbage dump, but you know, it's a bed of roses. He has um, no Gibson, after all. Yeah, but he fucked up wow. there because he said... You deserved it. It's like when you it's like he just admitted that he fucking whacked her on the teeth, it seems like. Yeah, he's he's done, right? In Hollywood, this is it. Mel's done. I think he had a good career. Like the whole Jewish sugar tits debacle with the cops and all that crap. And and he, he then he put out that fucking movie that made all kinds of money. Apocalypto. Yeah, Apocalypto. It was fine, you know. He financed it himself. He didn't need any of those pesky Jews money. <laughs> and uh that was it. Nothing, nothing. I'm not the one to threaten. I'm threatening. I'll put you in a fucking rose garden, you cunt. You understand that? Because I'm capable of it. You understand that? Get a fucking restraining order. For what? What are you going to get a restraining order for? For me being drunk and disorderly? For hitting you? For what? And uh, she's brilliant because that's where tape two ends with the question that that's she needs it. to answer in that's tape it. three. Tape three, the heretic. Wow. And believe me, uh, you know. You've been through some shit. Oh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know what is making him so angry. He never says it. Like, what does he think she did? She's not paying got to attention this point. to him. She's not like, what? Well, yeah, what? But Jimmy might be onto the alcoholic thing. You I think, think it's so. all in his mind? What, what are you drunk? thinking? No, I think that she's uh, also. A bit of a, tw a complete or a bit of a twat. She's a Russian, this one, right? <laughs> yeah, but where's she going to is the question. Ah, Jeff. <laughs> I meant nationality. You think Mel could play the romantic lead again? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You just can't picture him hugging and kissing a woman on screen without thinking of, Fuck, blow me! Mel Gibson, tape number three, has arrived. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say eh, not as good as two, but, right. but there's some good no. stuff in here. I say they get back together. They're perfect for each wow. other. Wow. No. That's insane. <laughs> Chick tapes you like this and humiliates never. He'd bring it up for the next 300 years. <laughs> you taped me. <laughs> you taped me. Blow me. Blow me. <laughs> Let's uh, uh, get into the Mel Gibson tape. Number three. Uh, don't hire to come there, okay? You get that message? Well, I'll pay her myself. I found her. She's my dentist's ex-babysitter. I've been paying her. That's my money that she gets paid with. I'm her employer, not you. You found her. I'm her employer. Fine, but I, I, if I need to use her, I will use yes, her. because I will not pay her if you bring her to your house. I will fire her, and I will do it fast. Okay, then I'll pay her, because I need her. She's good. No! You're paying her with my money. It doesn't matter what you give her. It's my fucking money. 
He's just revving up, man. You know, he <laughs> is it. such an angry man. He's, he's kind of calm the, right the, here, though. The, the he's thing, under control. You're Mel fucking Gibson. Why so angry? You understand? You're not have, You don't have your own money. You're only using my money. Okay? You, you made me moneyless. I used to have $100,000 a year when you met me. Oh. You took me. You possessed me. Everything I am, you owe me with my liver and my kidneys and my thoughts <laughs> and my soul. Everything. My career or whatever it is. Pathetic career. Whatever it is is yours. You control me like marionette. I don't belong to myself, only to you. I can't do anything and I walk on the eggshells always with you. That's because you're Did she write that out ahead of time? I, I hate the way they leave words out. I, I, I am like marionette. It's, you're like a marionette. Exactly. Use all the letters, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking country where they put backwards R's. Exactly. Stupid. Great toy stores. <laughs> 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 yeah, all of a sudden Jeffrey the Giraffe comes over. He's like, who's this? Who's this chipper? <laughs> Always with you. That's because you're a fucking using whore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Well, he explained it to her. Does he go now? Did he just say yeah, now? Yeah. I can't do anything and I walk on the eggshells always with you. That's because you're a fucking using whore. Now, I warn you, do not use... At your house, I have warned you, she will be fired if she goes to your house. You find that cunt, and you find some other money that's not mine. Okay? No, I'm using A, B. She's fired, do you understand that? Fine, she's don't fired. Don't fire her, because I won't pay her. Okay, don't pay her. And I will fire her. That's okay. Only works at my house. <laughs> well, she's, she does nothing to do at your house. Baby's here. Oh. The baby should be here, and she should work at my house. Baby is where I am. Oh. You're insane. Be there for long. <laughs> I will fire her if she is at your house. I will make it known and fire her. Fine. I'll mm -hmm. report her to the fucking people that take fucking money from the wetbacks, okay? <laughs> Let's see. What are we up to with Mel? <laughs> wetbacks. Wetbacks. Niggers. <laughs> right. Jews. Jews. Uh, kike. Did he say kike? I think he did say kike in the cop car, and then oh. he called uh, the cop uh, sugar tits. <laughs> <laughs> sugar tits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's got to be a compliment. No? God, I want to hang out wow. with Mel. <laughs> he just cannot control himself. <laughs> oh. And fire her. Fine. I report her to the fucking people that take fucking money from the wetbacks, okay? Mel. You can't just take a woman who gives you a child, who gives you the entire life. You drag her through God knows what bad press. I've never had a bad word said about me in my entire hey, life. And then, Wait, and then you, you tell me... Hey. Does he say, hey, cunt? Hey, <laughs> hey cunt. I didn't... <laughs> oh, I love him. He is a pisser. Uh, hey, He's cunt. like, let me, let me interject here. Hey, hey, cunt. Hey, uh, cunt. <laughs> He's pacing. He probably has white shit in the oh. corner of his mouth. Oh, is he angry? who gives you the entire life. You drag her through God knows what bad press. I've never had a bad word said about me in my entire life. And then, and then you telling me, and then you telling me that you take away whatever pennies that you just given to me. I don't have anything because I've given you my life three years now. I gave you everything. Don't you dare fucking complain to me. I fucking hear you. You don't fucking count. You're a fucking using whore. What did I use you for? I've given you everything I had. I've given you everything. I've been your woman. I've given you a child. What the fuck are you talking about? Bitch, that's all. You would have done it for any fucking ch You probably fucked ch Wow. I know you did. That fucking yes. I swear in front of God I never have. Fucking ugly man. You don't give a fuck. So long as they pay your fucking rent. I am not the whore, and I'm not the bitch, and I'm not the cunt, and I'm not the user, and I'm Wait, not Cole, the Wait, did he say R so? R, I, R so. <laughs> did, he, did, I, did he say that in the back when she said, I'm not a whore? Did he, I could be wrong, but did he yell R so? R so. Fucking rent. I am not the whore, and I'm not the bitch, and I'm not the cunt, and I'm not the user. <laughs> 
see? This Mel Gibson's great. Come on, this is a this gag, is, right? It's it's just so This is a fucking gag. I am not the whore, and I'm not the bitch, and I'm not the count, and I'm not the user, and I'm not the thief, and all those words, and I'm not a liar. All this, all this lies. All this lies. I am not a whore, or cunt, or thief, or prostitute or anything that you call me or not a user not a gold digger i don't have any money and no property assigned to me that's a gold digger for you are you insane oh. yes you are of course oh, we can hear that because you're screaming you don't call me bitch don't you call me you have you no want. right i don't have a penny <laughs> what kind of gold digging whore is this oh god cry poor mouth you could go through money like a fucking whore you want the fucking dress, you want the tickets, you want the fucking equipment. Funny how it went from 33 to... 33? Mel, Mel, the equipment is instead of payment. If you hire any composer, you'll have to pay two hundred thousand oh, plus. Oh, okay. What's All going right, on? Okay. Now at least we're getting some headway here. What's going on? She has this music career that uh, Mel apparently doesn't really think is very good. <laughs> I think he said it in a past tape that she's about a piece of shit. Uh, and wait, it, it wait, apparently wait, wait, is... Wait, 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 what'd you say? I think uh, Mel doesn't like her music career. <laughs> is this her? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> this is Say My Name. Say My Name? Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Are oh, so. Oh, 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 okay. First note is bad. Wow, the first note. Is, <laughs> that's no Mariah Carey right there. And, and Mel is footing the bill for composers and and instruments and everything. So that's what he's pissed at. Mel is a fucking guy who probably said to her, "Look, I'll bankroll your career," because yeah, he yeah. he's Mel Gibson. Like this is a couple hundred thousand dollars, a lot of money. But to Mel but Gibson to, him, to bankroll, it's probably no, a write off. No. He's getting that Braveheart money still. Are you kidding? Calling my name. Wow, is she I don't that. Have that. terrible? You are dishonest. I am calling my name. She's horrible. She is really bad. Exactly. And she's got, like, real people behind her. Oh, and Mel just looks at his fucking statements and sees, like, 12,000. Because she started talking, like, well, that's for an arranger. Right. Like, she's fucking paying for guys to write arrangements. And the right. music is not bad itself. but the Well, she's paid a lot of money for that. I think she's trying to be Bajork. My name again. My name oh. again. Her name should be Mariah Can't Carry a Note. <laughs> a little, little airy, that yeah. voice. Shitty Houston. <laughs> I am not a whore. Are so. Are so. Are so. Do, do too. That's how mad he is. He's are Mel so. Gibson. Yeah. Is that the end of the tape? No, we got more. Oh, okay. We're done with the dumb song, though. <laughs> you think she's good? <laughs> she stinks. <laughs> Oh, she's terrible. Back to the tape. Cozy, you'll have to pay 200000 plus. I don't have to. I can do it for nothing. I don't need you, and I don't want you doing it. I don't think you can do it. All right? That's 
fine. How little I think of your fucking talent. Yeah, well, it's clear enough. <laughs> He's right on that one. He is right on that. That, she st that was horrible. I don't horrible. think you're going to do it. That's how little I think of you. He's so oh, like, You know what? Yeah. He sounds like, listen to his cadence. In that, he sounds like fucking Jack Torrance. He sounds like Nicholson when he goes, Oh, wow. When do you think maybe we should take Danny to a doctor? To a doctor. That's how little I think of your Talent. Maybe as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I get out the pub, I kiss you. You had sores on your back. <laughs> I have to pay for new Danny uh, t-shirt and sweatshirt <laughs> was ripped. Yeah, Apollo sweatshirt. Sweatshirt was ripped. I'm not paying for it. I hope you get raped by a gang of nigger cooks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, and don't you dare have Lloyd come over and mix you drinks, because I'm not paying him. You whore, you fucked Lloyd, didn't you? You whore. <laughs> yeah, well, it's clear now. It's all coming out now. It's all fucking true. Yeah. Fuck you, you're a fucking I think you just, I think you just, all you want to do is just shove me in a hole and sit me at home. So much for your promise, I want to let you fly. This is such bullshit. It's such arrogant bullshit. You never meant to do that. What did he say? I'm letting you fly now, cunt. Oh, his comebacks are fucking wonderful. <laughs> I just wanted to yell at me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Such arrogant bullshit. You never meant to do that. <laughs> fly away. <laughs> I'm letting you fly now, cunt. Fly away. <laughs> he, he's a comic. The guy's hysterical. Bullshit. You never meant to do that. What? What? <laughs> And I've I've done extremely well, but nobody asked you to spend so much money on the videos and everything. Oh. And why do you count my food out of my mouth? Why do you do that? I live with you. I gave you a baby. We're together. And you counting that and summing it all up? And why do you not separate those two? If you count the food in my mouth, why don't you separate it? And how about you giving me money and I'm feeding you and going shopping all the time and buying you extravagant presents? What are you talking about, you fucking ignorant bitch? I don't understand you. You're saying stupid shit. How dare you fucking even insult me with some of the stupid reasoning you have. Your logic sucks because you're a fucking mentally deprived idiot. <laughs> When do you think maybe we should take Danny to a doctor? He's fucking Nicholson in The He's Shining. Crazy. And whenever you hear me, type it. should be taken to a doctor. <laughs> when do you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? It's so as, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. That's... Uh, uh. Uh, not not going to pay for any more instruments. <laughs> not going to pay for pianos or airy produced vocals. I'm just going to bash your fucking head in. <laughs> bash it right the fuck in. Because you're a fucking mentally deprived idiot. You I, can't even fucking figure out. I have to go to the bed. I have fucking avocado on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's great you can't get this shit off, you cunt. I can't go back to the fucking goose soiree. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Mel fucking Mel Gibson. That speech, the whole walking the cadence, up the stairs thing. The cadence, it, the cadence the is thing. great. Here's the end of the uh, the tape. Twenty oh. seconds left. Fucking figure out. I have to go to the bed. Goodbye, Mel. Baby's crying. I have to go. Look after my child. She's my child, too. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, you cunt whore. I hope she doesn't turn out like you. <laughs> he just had to hang up on her. Oh. <laughs> and that concludes tape number three. Fantastic. Oh. I'm sure there'll be tape number four today. Fan fucking fantastic! What a fucking classic he is. I hope she has volumes of these. Uh, Mel Gibson, tape number four. You've been following this, Mike? Yeah, I have actually. What's your favorite part so far? We uh, all have favorite parts. Uh, the cunt. I like the word cunt. So, <laughs> yeah. and then I my like favorite. my favorite was when he just yells, "Smile and blow me." Yeah, yeah, that was good. Too. <laughs> Please more. All right, here we go. More Mel. Mel Gibson. Tape How long number is this four. tape? Uh, three and a half minutes. Yes. We could squeeze this in. Yes. What the fuck do you hope you'll accomplish with that? What do you
you hoping to accomplish with that? What, are you going to pay me back? If you do that, it's over. It's over now. Fuck you. How dare you act like such a bitch when I'm being so fucking nice. I did not blame you. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm being so fucking nice. I'm so nice to you, fucking cunt. <laughs> you act like such a bitch when I'm being so fucking nice. I did not blame you. <laughs> you said I was mean. You were fucking annoyed at me. For what reason? What? I did nothing but be nice to you. <laughs> what? I've done nothing but be nice to you. I didn't blame you last now, night. What are you little bitch this morning for? I wasn't... I wasn't doing anything. What did I do? And you said, oh, also earlier today, you... Oh, never mind. What the fuck were you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of this. <laughs> I love Mel Gibson. Mel doesn't miss a fucking trick. Oh, he is so great. hurt. This he's man. the greatest. We, oh, my goodness. Well, we don't know why he's so hurt. He's just an he insecure, fucked up guy. And he got all this money and all this power in Hollywood. It means nothing. In fact, I'd rather not have it so I can make sense of my misery. This poor <laughs> bastard's fucked. It is amazing, though. Mike makes a great point. Like, look at Mel. He's everything a man could want. He's rich. He's a great actor. He's a great director. He's a fucking bonafide sex symbol. Yep. He's a real yeah. sex symbol. Yeah, yeah. And this, after his entire body of work, is his relationship. Yeah. This is what he's done. fucking <laughs> cunt, I'm yeah. nice to you. Yeah. Earlier <laughs> today, you owe. Never mind. What the fuck were you going to say? <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say about any earlier today. It's just. I was going to say about last night. That's all. New favorite part. <laughs> oh my god. I'm claiming that it's my favorite that part. Is... This motherfucker is a hoot. Oh he my is great. God. Oh, his wow. career should be resurrected. <laughs> He's the best. I should have oh. woke you up and said, fucking blow fucking me, bitch. Blow yeah. Me. He's yeah. A good idea. This is relatable. He's fucking Andrew Dice Gibson. Yeah. I should have woke you up and said, blow me. <laughs> you bitch. You bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy blue. Murta needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I want to marry you. <laughs> Freedom, jerk off. <laughs> that's amazing. I never heard him do that. That's great. You've never heard that? No. Uh, that's one of my old favorites. That's yeah. terrific. An old dice. <laughs> Why? Because I let you sleep. Huh. That's my fucking mistake. I should have woke you up and said, "Fucking blow me, bitch." <laughs> I should have fucking woken you up and said, "Blow me." You would like that better, yeah? <laughs> you need a goddamn sleep. We were supposed to go to jacuzzi, and you said you have to wait for something. So why do you have to wait? You said. Did you go to the goddamn jacuzzi. I'm I'm afraid it's dark outside. Fuck it. I just waited for you. I waited and waited till I fell asleep, and then... Waited and waited, like two and a half fucking minutes. You're fucking snoring. Don't you dare wait. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep and I don't didn't blame blow. you. I deserve to be blown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Academy Award winner. <laughs> blow went, me. <laughs> you went to sleep and didn't blow me. I just <laughs> had to be blown. <laughs> this, this guy's the best. Oh, my oh, God. Holy fuck, he did not just <laughs> say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is the hey, Each fucking tank gets <laughs> better. I still don't know what their issue is. He, she didn't he's, blow him. But he's mad because she, she fell asleep. asleep. Can you listen to the man? She wanted to go in the jacuzzi. What the fuck the don't jacuzzi. you understand? It's it simple. was two minutes and she didn't blow him. All this because she didn't go to the jacuzzi by herself? I don't know. Oh, my I'm God. Confused, man. This is fantastic. Please, can we rehear oh, that yeah, one? i got to hear that. Boy, don't you dare wait. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. I don't blame you. <laughs> I deserve to be blown first before the fucking jacuzzi. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> Blowjob blow first, then jacuzzi. jacuzzi. I I swear to you, if if I didn't know the business end of this, I would think these two were pulling the biggest gag on everyone in the fucking country. Right. If he wasn't saying shit that was so inflammatory. Yeah. God, is that go, fantastic go way back. fucking funny. Oh, he's the I'm greatest. I'm gonna go way back. Here we go. Don't wait. You said. I'm, I'm afraid it's dark outside. Fuck it. Fuck it. I just waited for you. I waited and waited till I fell asleep, and then. Waited and waited like two and a half fucking minutes. You're fucking snoring. Don't you dare wait. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. I don't blame you. I deserve to be blown first before the fucking jacuzzi. He'll burn the house down, but blow me first. All right, wait, what do we got? Mel Gibson loves to be blown. <laughs> what was it? You went to sleep? Uh, too, too much. much All right, wait, I got to go back. It's hey. fantastic. I'll burn the house down. I'll burn the house down after you blow me. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. I don't blame you. I deserve to be blown first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before the fucking jacuzzi. Oh That's my great. God, he's the greatest. Well, holy shit, how do you not love this guy? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> how do you not fucking love this guy? Oh, God. The Mel Gibson tapes. <laughs> this Fuck Nixon. <laughs> Fuck the Veloci papers. <laughs> the greatest leak ever. This is better, yeah. Yeah. This he, is coming in parts. It's yeah. like fucking Indiana Jones. No, this it's is wonderful. Stuff. This is a series. It's great. Yeah. It's <laughs> called Blow Me, Bitch. <laughs> You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. I don't blame you. I deserve to be blown first before the fucking jacuzzi. Not blow me. How fucking dare you? <laughs> <sighs> you wanted the number of my therapist? Don't you ever speak to him. Find your own goddamn therapist. Uh-oh. Because you have problems more than me. You need medication. You gotta fucking push my buttons. And it is not going to work with us. It's not. I can't get like this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's not going to work and out, you know Mel. You're doing it. <laughs> and you're a liar, and you're dishonest, and you're fucked up. So you stay the fuck away from me. Take care of your fucking son, and I better have my daughter. I just want my daughter and a maid. It's a lot less fucking trouble. They clean up after themselves. They make your goddamn bed, which you did not. You don't have to worry about emotional blackmail or any of the other bullshit that you put me through. I just need a nice woman to look after my beautiful daughter. And blow me. <laughs> I don't have to fuck her already. Please say blow me. You're a pain in the ass. <laughs> You're a pain in my ass. <laughs> Too much. Stop man. being that. Please <laughs> tell me there's more. That this ends guy. tape four. Oh, We're gonna shit. have to wait for tape five. Oh my Jimmy. god, this guy that is ends tape four. Stop <laughs> being that. Oh my You're god. You're a pain in my ass. I gotta... Stop not blowing me. <laughs> you know what it is? After Go being who he now. is, all he wants to do is just kick back and get that Australian hog serviced. <laughs> That's He's all no he wants. Person. Mel Suck his dick. I, I think this should go down in history as one of the greatest events <laughs> yes. for mankind. It just yeah, yeah. You, mankind. you include it in great comedy specials and the moon landing. Yes, that, you yes. put them all in a fucking room. Way more exciting than the moon landing. Oh, this yeah. rivals, you know. And here it comes over Lakehurst, New Jersey. <laughs> the Hindenburg is making its way over to the mooring lines. And oh, oh, it's bursting into flames. Oh, this is the worst catastrophe I've ever seen. Blow me, you fucking cunt. <laughs> you fucking cunt, blow me. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, tranquility base. <laughs> the eagle has landed. You fucking cunt. Suck my cock! <laughs> one small step for man, one giant blowjob for me! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we're just stalling because we played the Mel Gibson tape number four really late in the show yesterday, but we're definitely replaying the, the entire thing today because now it's hot today. Mel Gibson is, I think, really fucked on this one. <laughs> but no one ever will question, well, what the fuck did she do? Right. Aside from, you know, a few dudes and Patrice. Well, Mel's going to have to say something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks kind of bad right now. <laughs> He's low. Oh, let's hear uh, Mel Gibson. This is tape number four. And tape number five coming out in about an hour, and we'll certainly play it as soon as we get it. But first, tape number four once again. Total idea. What the fuck do you hope to accomplish with that? What are you hoping to accomplish with that? What, are you going to pay me back? If you do that, it's over. <sighs> It's over now! Fuck you! How dare you act like such a bitch when I'm being so fucking nice! I did not blame you. You said I was mean! You were fucking annoyed at me! For what reason? What? I did nothing but be nice to you! What? I've done nothing but be nice to you! I didn't blame you last now, night. What are you little bitch this morning for? I wasn't... I wasn't doing anything! What did I do? And you said, oh, also earlier today, you, oh, never mind. What the fuck were you going to say? <laughs> Mel is being a little unreasonable. <laughs> We've been saying it all along. Uh, oh. We're amazed that Mel Gibson has to put up with this shit. What did I say? <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say about any earlier today. It's just, I was going to say about last night. That's all. Why? Because I let you sleep. That's my fucking mistake. I should have woke you up and said, fucking blow me, bitch. I should have fucking woken you up and said, blow me. You would have liked that better, yeah? You need the goddamn sleep. We were supposed to go to jacuzzi, and you said you have to wait for something. So why did you have to wait? You said... You go to the goddamn jacuzzi. I'm, I'm afraid it's dark outside. Fuck it. <laughs> Look right there. I love that. This is how you know this is not all her. Yeah. Every time she does make a point, which anyone will do, yeah. Mel dismisses it. She went about that, and Mel was like, fuck it. But she's attacking him with what annoys him. Is yeah, her man. lack of her just her that, lack of humanity? No. Yeah. He's man. so mad. Well, she has you her said, agenda. You said she we would go to thing. jacuzzi. If that wasn't how she argued. Mm hmm. Then he would go, what the bitch? What is this? Right. Are you taping me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Like, th that's what she does. Yeah. She, she was actually, she was being her. Fun man. Dismissive. Jacuzzi. It's all nice when they were in the sweetheart phase, you know. Mm. She started getting rights. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in that relationship. She slowly got her rights. Mm -hmm. oh, and he's, damn. he's trying, he's, he lost it, but he, he didn't catch that she was getting her rights when he did it just one day it, she, it, he she went, woke oh up and my she had god. she had rights oh right. my god she's got rights yeah. <laughs> i just waited for you i waited and waited till i fell asleep and then waited and waited like two and a half fucking minutes you're fucking snoring don't you dare <laughs> wait you're blaming me right now now i'm blaming you you went to sleep i don't blame you <laughs> i deserve to be blown The greatest thing ever said <laughs> Dude, I, by a man, I right there. I deserve to be blown first. How can this be fake? If this is if this is a, a fake thing, Ball. it has to be put up for some kind of Oscar. Because it, it, no be one says that. No. no one says that in in improv. This has to be put in a time capsule. He would be for other city, generations. If this, if this was, <laughs> and then waited and waited like two and a half fucking minutes. You're fucking snoring. Don't you dare wait. You're blaming me right now. Now I'm blaming you. You went to sleep. I don't blame you. I deserve to be blown first before the fucking jacuzzi. I tell I'll burn the goddamn house down. But blow me first. How dare you? How fucking dare you? How? <laughs> <laughs> then, then he punched.
perpetuates it with a fucking All she has to do her. is suck his dick, and he'd be nice Mel again. How dare she, Now, do you the get way. this equipment from Radio Shack, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. Where's, what is this? What's going on? Like, how is she doing uh, this? It's a so really good recording, right? Phone recorder, yeah. yeah she she fucking set this up phone. in advance. She okay. must nicely for herself. This is tremendous. She obviously mm -hmm. had somebody help mm -hmm. her out. Yeah, hell fucking yes. <laughs> this dummy. When God invented emotions, it's like... He's as close to godly man <laughs> as I, you. Who I can't, have you ever been that fucking? Yes. Yes. Really? Oh yeah. I, I can't. Stop. Yeah. And expressed it. Yes. For real. This girl did something to Mel, man. To yeah. I'm telling you, for him to lose it like that, <laughs> it is because she's just a game player. I, I bet you OJ's listening to this going, come on, Mel, do it, nigga. <laughs> do it. You know you want to do it. That's how OJ was feeling right before heads was flying. Yeah, justify what I did. Un unrecorded phone calls of OJ oh, that sounded right. just Probably like very that. similar. You fucked a waiter. <laughs> you oh. wanted the number of my therapist? Don't you ever speak to him. Find your own goddamn therapist. Because you got problems more than me. You need medication. And you gotta fucking push my buttons. And it is not going to work with us. It's not. I can't get like this anymore. Okay. And you know you're doing it. And you're a liar. And you're dishonest. And you're fucked up. So you stay the fuck away from me. Take care of your fucking son. And I better have my daughter. I just want my daughter and a maid. It's a lot less fucking trouble. He's like Steve Martin at the end of The Jerk. I want my daughter and a yeah, maid yeah, yeah. And, and this, this paper chair. clip. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> daughter and a maid. It's a lot less fucking trouble. They clean up after themselves. They make your goddamn bed, which you did not. You don't have to worry about emotional blackmail or any of the other bullshit that you put me through. I just need a nice woman to look after my beautiful daughter. I don't have to fuck her or anything. You're a pain in the ass! You're a pain in my ass! Stop being that! <laughs> That's where that tape ends. If that's not the greatest cliffhanger, yeah, yes. Well, since fucking the Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> <laughs> that is tape number five comes out in forty-five minutes, and we'll wow. have it. Wow, what, what is radar online? Weird. Is this thing big? I yeah, just never. It's the guy from Nash <laughs> waiting for something. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's uh, it's Tiger. Can you please take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh, maybe calling you. What the fuck do you hope to accomplish with that? Uh, what are you hoping to accomplish with that? How dare you act like such a bitch? You fucking selfish bitch. All right, bye. Very good. They never talked on the phone, though. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> Did Tiger? Now, why is Tiger and Mel talking? Yeah, sounds to me like Mel's roaring like a tiger. You know. <laughs> hey, uh, Doug the Bounty Hunter also talked to Mel Gibson. <laughs> Thanks to D Boy. <laughs> Tape five from Mel Gibson. And you don't care about anyone but yourself. And your fucking stupid fucking failed career. And it's ruined us. Because you fucking can't get that. Fuck it. You wanted the dress from I can't believe you asked for that. And the tickets in the Lakers box, I got rid of the box. And now nobody gets tickets because of you. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're starting to get a little bit more of what's right. going on here. All right. She's spending a little bit of Mel's money. Something about the fucking box. He got rid of the box. For that. And the tickets in the Lakers box, I got rid of the box. And now nobody gets tickets because of you. I had to sell the motherfucker. Why is it because, because of, of me? You. Why is it because of me? What kind of bullshit is this? I sold it because of you. I don't have any Why? fucking money. I have to support you and everybody else. I have to sell paintings. Well, maybe it's to... because... 
Holy Uh-oh, shit. He's wait, running man, out of man. money. Mel's running Is out of Mel money. Gibson, he has like bro? eight kids from his fucking last wife. He's losing uh, a lot of money to alimony, I bet. Shit. He's talking about selling paintings. Oh, no. Selling his Lakers tickets. Oh, all that Braveheart money. You think the Braveheart money's gone, gone. Patrice? Gone. Went to the old ex-wife and kids. No? No? I, he's, I think it's worth a billion dollars, and he had to give her $500 million and what does he? What does he mean? He can't be going broke. He's selling paintings. He's not going to Lakers he games. He owns a fucking film company. That's his. Yeah, but like oh, people love Braveheart. I, I I get a residual check from the office for four dollars and ten cents still. <laughs> <laughs> He's not getting fucking Lakers money tickets. I sold it because of you. I don't have any Why? fucking money. I have to support you and everybody else. I have to sell paintings. Well, maybe it's because of them. Maybe. The well, maybe it's because of others that you sold it. Why do you? Why are you blaming it on me? You need to ask for that when you know what kind of trouble I'm in. I've never used your box. Never once did I ask you. This is the first time because your relationship with Sasha is so fucked up because of your violence. I was trying to make amends with between you and him, not make amends and be a diplomat between you and him. I tell you that the box is gone because of you. Not because of me, because you have to feed an army. Why is it because of me? What kind of bullshit is this? I spent my goddamn money on you. And my wife knows it's you. How much money do you spend on me? You don't spend more money on me than anybody else. I spent more than five million dollars on you. That's and not on me. And that was, you. that was signed, I was signed to... Thank you! That was signed... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> you didn't say thank you, you cunt. <laughs> she has a kid, by the way, I believe, with Timothy O'Dalton, who played uh, uh, Bond. Mm -hmm. So she's used to guys with money. And fame doing stuff. Do Mel is not new for her. Did she go from Timothy, Timothy Dalton, Dalton to Mel? To Mel? I believe so. And that was that was signed. I was signed to. That was signed to the record label. I always said thank you. I know you doubt me. I I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Okay. I don't want you either. That's it. That was so easy. The minute I pull the plug, you're out of here. You can't. Have Mel, I'm saving. I'm, a bitch. I'm saving. No, I, I cannot be with somebody like this. I you don't love me. I'll take care of the child. You don't love me. Well, this is not. Is this is not somebody who loves me. This is some completely off balance person who absolutely hates me. Why do you hate me so much? What did I do to you? Everything you say about me is bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, and I only left to save. It's bullshit. You ruined my life, and you didn't give me a penny. Publicity, you cunt. <laughs> oh, is that wonderful? <laughs> you gave me nothing but fucking grief. All right? And bad publicity, you cunt. How did I ruin your life? You destroyed my reputation, and you're the meanest person I, did I know. I destroyed it because that shit's true. You're the meanest person. What? What? You're very mean. There's the what again? Yeah, you know what mean is now, don't You've you? You've always been. So don't call me mean. When you're very I, jealous I, and you're very mean. Because I like to show you what mean really is. Bitch, cunt, whore, <laughs> gold digger. All true. You fucking proved it to me. If you're ever interested in proving otherwise, let me know. If you don't care, I know you know what you are too. Look at yourself. And look what you've done. Look what you fucking done. Look at your son. He's a fucking mess. You fucking excuse for a mother. You're a fucking bitch. You're the worst father I ever met. Goodbye. Bet. <laughs> that one got to her. Why do you want to hang up the phone when you got Mel on a roll? Yeah. Because fucking Mel is actually starting to say stuff that makes sense. That looks bad. That looks... That point Mel. Yeah, yeah. That looks bad for her. Point Point Mel. Mel.
but he is batting a one. <laughs> <laughs> Tape number six, just released from Radar Online. Steve, I never seen you clear out so fast as when I said I'd pull the plug on your fucking lustic bullshit. You've said you pulled the plug. Here today was fucking comedy. You've told me a hundred times you're going to pull the plug. No, and you will. I know, and I don't give a damn. I'm just saving my child's life because you are a monster. That's all. You're a monster. Monster. Okay. See right, pl- pl- right there. Every time she makes a point, I love Mel. He's like, "Fuck it, Bo." Oh, no, so now you're angry, huh? Like he won't acknowledge her point. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You are a complete monster. I don't give a damn about the fucking career which you spend money on. Not me. I never asked you to do that ever. You fucking bitch. You ask me for money all the time, and you had my money to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So don't you say you didn't ask for it. You asked for every. I don't have anything, and I've signed the paper. I've signed, I've signed the paper that enables me to get. I can't get anything from you ever, nor can I ask of anything. I've signed the paper. I have signed the paper. I don't want anything from you. I don't have anything. She's she's she certainly she certainly. I'm sorry. You will not have this child. Mel, you're imbalanced. There's something wrong with you. You need medication. You cannot raise this child with these symptoms. What? You're acting as a crazy man what? right now. And you have been for many, many months. And you hit me and you hit her whilst she was in my hands. Mel, you're losing your mind. You need medication. You need a fucking kick up the ass for being a Kick up the, she says he needs medication. He says she needs a kick up the ass. For being a bitch, cunt, gold digging whore. Well, and I stopped it. That was only half. Pussy son. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say a pussy son? A pussy son. son. Yep. Yeah, it seems she has a son. Through um, <laughs> uh, uh, another guy, Timothy Dalton. Was, Timothy that, was a, Dalton. that was a knock at, at the sun, and a, also a knock at the worst James Bond ever, because he just called <laughs> Timothy Dalton's kid a fucking oh, sissy. It's a pussy. And no uh, believe it. So fuck you. And I'm not giving you my house, and you can rot unless you crawl back, suck my cock, and say you're sorry in that order. <laughs> <laughs> In that order. He actually said in that order. Oh, I love it. Uh, because I was thinking it as he was saying it. <laughs> thinking in that order. And you can rot unless you crawl back, suck my cock, and say you're sorry in that order. Do you understand me? You fucking offend my fucking maleness, my masculinity, my being, my soul. And you call me a sinner. You're a fucking moving violation. If you get raped, it's your fault for sure. Are you crazy? Those fakers! <laughs> those fakers! <laughs> How do they call those What the fake? fuck is wrong with that? Thank Mel God Gibson. she didn't get thank God she didn't get two nigs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Mel Gibson has lost his fucking mind. Uh, like they're some special deal? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You complain about mastitis? They're fake, baby. Come on, you got little bladders in there. You think I'm an idiot? Have you said everything? I said nothing! (laughs) 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 This is like a guy that we we all watched and, and... this is not Mad Max. He's got this great real comedic timing, though. Wonderful. Yeah, he fantastic. does, right? This is my favorite thing. Nothing! <laughs> you need to say a lot to assuage my insanity because you made me this way. I didn't make you this you way. You fucking did so. You were born this way. 
and yeah. you yell and scream and threaten everybody around you. Everybody is pussyfitting around you because they'll scared shitless out of you. But you, you pay. You're paying them money, and they will never tell you the truth. They will never tell you the truth, who you are, because you're paying them money. Inclusive of your psychiatrists, who should send you to a neurologist because you are imbalanced, and you need medication, and he's just taking your money. What are you, a fucking expert? Yes. Fuck off. You are completely off your mind. I've never seen anybody like this. You have a schizophrenia. I hate this bitch, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Is, I hate this bitch. Hates and I realize why he keeps saying what. It's like at first, that dinga, that gugga, booga is beautiful and sexy. <laughs> now it's like, what? What did you say? Cause not, because you know what? I think that's be, that started as the insults. At one point, he was mad, and I think that was the first time he ever was. Where she goes, man, ippy gibby gibby gooba, like fucking locker. And then, <laughs> and then he goes, what? The fuck do you just say? What? And, what? and, and now what? he has to what? listen to this. He loves that. But it's just like she sounds half retarded. But she's, she's foreign and she's trying to use big words. And it's just like, why don't you talk wow. like a fucking idiot <laughs> the way you are? And like, stop trying to say, you need to go, spell it, you motherfucker. <laughs> he, she, he loves her and he was driven to hatred and mm -hmm. he's out of control. But I hate this bitch. Frenia. Because. Because you're born like this, my dear. You are so spoiled. You have biggest no, ego, and you let yourself you roll. You hurt me too badly. My God, what an ego! Oh. Nobody would dare tell you that. You're paying the money for God's sake. She's fucking up. What? Mm -hmm. Nobody will tell the you real that. that you're paying them money. Oh, like you, huh? I don't need a. I don't need anything from you, okay? I will disappear from your life just like I came in. Fucking credit card, you callous cunt! You never even say fucking thank you. Yes, I have many times. I say thank you every five goddamn minutes. Another great line. I say thank you every five goddamn minutes. And they're both fucking full of shit because neither one of them are going anywhere. Mel wants her to say thank you every five minutes. Five minutes. That sounds logical, right? Yeah, man, that's, that's how you build trust and love. <laughs> Every five minutes, there should be a thank you uh, coming thank from you. her. <laughs> thank you, sir. I can't get enough of this, man. Fucking Mel. It's just amazing. I have many times. I say thank you every five goddamn minutes. And not call me mean. And not look at me sideways. Just suck my cock. <laughs> That's it. Uh, you, th you there? You there? He's all mad. Wants to make sure so much, you heard that one. Much better than fucking music. She fucking sucks music. cock better than music. He yeah. does bring up the sucking cock a lot, and then he actually right there said that's all you're good at. She must she, really be she good. She reeled him in. She did reel, she reeled him in. She put the mash on that fucking... Mm -hmm. his, his wanker. Yeah. <laughs> he Fuck. fucking... She blew him senseless. <laughs> blew the brains what out a of him. great head she gives. Oh, Mad wife, Max man. 4, that's what he needs. Yeah. Mad Max 4. There you go. That's all. <laughs> he's done. That, With then, a, the villain is a, is a young Russian bitch. <laughs> yeah. And he's just so... He just, Missing a hand with a fucking... That'd be great. He writes and fucking directs, produces a movie where a Russian girl is just the biggest cunt. <laughs> you imagine? And he's just yelling at her, but he's the sympathetic character. Uh, all her soldiers of guys whose dick she sucked <laughs> and hypnotize them and shit and fucking... <laughs> he's just like, I'm not gonna fall for you, cunt. A room full yeah. of children not being taken care of. <laughs> and he drives a car. It's made out of, like, uh, gold bullions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chip. So, Kevin. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Mel Gibson? Please. All right, here we go. Believe it or not, a brand new Mel Gibson tape. Tape number seven. God. Ooh. Great ring. Hello. Oh, you're there. <laughs> it starts out great. It just starts out great. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you're there. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Do you think that this um, is the yeah. indicator it's not going to be a pleasant call? <laughs> yeah. Did you get my flowers? <laughs> yeah, this is just bad right here. Oh, you're there. <laughs> you're there. You think she sees the caller ID and goes, oh, <laughs> goes, oh here fuck, it comes. man. I wanted a here peaceful it comes. day. Hello. Oh, you're there. I just want you to know that your whole relationship with me, everything about you was an offense to me and offended me and pissed me off. Did you get my last message about me being a bad father and Tim being a great dad now? No, I didn't. You didn't hear that one? Well, you should go and fuck him. You know, you fickle cunt. Because... <laughs> she's, she's just trying to enjoy her day. Uh, and, there, and there's Mel on the other end of the phone. But there's no bite to it, even. Like, he's not even that angry when he calls. It's like he's just saying things that he has to say. Yeah. You didn't hear that one? Well, you should go and fuck him. You know, you fickle cunt. Because I don't care. You offend me on every fucking level. You offend me on every fucking level. I despise you. I don't want you back. You have proven yourself to me. You're not a fucking woman I want. You can't hang. You're not a fucking woman. You're a fucking fake. You're a fucking sham. You don't know what the fuck it means to make a man happy. You didn't make me fucking happy. I couldn't make you happy with the best I did for anybody ever. Ever. I heard. You fucking glum cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you glum cunt. You fucking glum cunt. <laughs> That's the greatest oh, thing. Oh, he just has the best fucking lines. <laughs> you glum cunt. <laughs> glum. Yeah. I did for anybody ever. Ever. You fucking glum cunt. You didn't fucking crack a smile with the tree ceremony out there. Nothing. What? The fuck do I have to do? And remember whose fucking roof you're under. You ingrate bitch. And that's it. <laughs> the game's over. Okay? The game's over. Let the new games begin. <laughs> Wait, the game's over. Now there's new games. Yeah, what do the, the new, new games, games consist of? I can only the imagine. S uh, same as the old games. The old games were a little rough. Mel calling and cursing her out. Yes. He would make a great villain. He's in Batman great. or something. This is fantastic. <laughs> the game's over, okay? The game's over. Let the new games begin. So you can get it on with anybody else and your son can watch it. What is it, number 45 he's going to have to look at? Fuck. But that means he wow. knew that he was number 44. 44. How many cocks have you sucked? <laughs> Including me? <laughs> number 45 he's going to have to look at? Fucking good. So fucking sorry I had a child with you. Oh. Now I am. Now that I see you. I hope you fucking don't sleep. <laughs> what? A, wait, hold on. What? A, he, he just. And I don't. I don't hope you die. I hope you toss and turn. <laughs> I hope you can't get the temperature right. <laughs> I hope you fucking don't sleep. I hope you fucking waste. You fucking ruined me. You fucking ingrate. I'm so mad. I'm so angry. And this is not the nicotine. This is the truth. <laughs> oh, it's the nicotine. You fucking don't love me one bit. And you know it. You using bitch. <laughs> He's so mad. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Wow. That's it for tape seven. You think we'll be here six months from now? Here's tape number Here's 232. <laughs> <laughs> How many fucking tapes are coming you out? You know what? I hope so. I really hope so. I'll be very sad at the last tape. I don't think this is the last one. Well, it's getting close to, to the last one. Yeah? Because he's calming down. But he said game over, new game. New game. Yeah, that's true. So we might have to listen to some of the new games for a while. <laughs> we got Mel Gibson voicemails now. Thank God. So, Can't get enough. 
On February 19th, between 11.30 at night and 3 in the morning, he left eight voicemails. Oh, God. That's a weird... Well, it's not a weird time. That's a bad time, I should say. Probably yeah. had a few just, belts. <laughs> right, just start I had thinking, a few in him. I need to pick up this phone and Was looking at calls. the phone. Yeah, just staring at the phone. That fucking cunt. I ought to call You know what? I ought to call her. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. Voicemails from Mel Gibson. Starts with this one. It's a quick one. The first one's really quick. What the fuck was that about? He probably wasn't going to call her, and he couldn't ah. help himself. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I call. Edith is not to work at your house. If she does, I'll fire her. I will not pay her for any hours at your house, okay? She only works at my house, all right? I don't want her at your house. I'll fire her. And you know I'll do it. I fire people all the time. And you'll have to find some other fucker. But you have to pay for it yourself. She works at my house. She's my employee. Just thought I'd mention that right now. Now, if you want to call me back, I think we should discuss the terms of separation. Don't you? Don't you think? Yes? Let's do it. I won't smoke either just to fuck with you. I want to really badly. And you would love me to. Because you want to destroy me and see me die. And I know subconsciously that your whole fucking aim is to ruin me. But I won't let you. Huh, well. Right? <laughs> you selfish bitch. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. These tapes make you feel like you could be friends with Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah. And he's just a like, guy going hey, through some shit. Out. Voicemail number three. Whore. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love these? He just <laughs> calls up, says whore, and hangs up. Well, there's a couple more seconds. Oh, oh, oh. But you're, okay. almost you're almost right. You're almost right. No, we so had to stop the thing. Whore. <laughs> That's what he said right after beep. Whore. <laughs> whore. Let's answer that fucking phone. Whore. <laughs> Whore. <laughs> I love that. Oh, is he the best? You were a sour faced bitch today. You think it was tricky to get that fucking tree and the hole and the placenta and organize all that shit? You know how much fucking time and money went into that? Did you thank me? Did you even have a fucking smile on your face? Fuck no! You were down there looking like a spoiled cunt. You don't give a fuck, do you? really are a shallow bitch. Everything about you stinks. And I'm seeing it real loud and clear. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Everything about you <laughs> stinks. Everything about you stinks is a great line. What a line. <laughs> Everything That's about perfect. you stinks. Voicemail number five. Everything about you <laughs> stinks. It's <laughs> great. Oh. oh. Uh, just making sure you're awake if you're trying to sleep, because I'm awake. <laughs> and you deserve to be. Yeah. <laughs> he can't slam that phone down hard enough. Uh, <laughs> he's waking her up because he's well, awake. It says from 11.30 to 3, so what, every 20 minutes he can't help himself in yeah. a half hour? help himself. Mm. He's trying to watch TV. He keeps pausing the movie he's watching <laughs> to call this cunt. <laughs> Sounds like a, a line out of one of his movies. Probably a throwaway That's line. That's your M.O., isn't it, baby? Yeah. Have I justified the title mean yet? I think so. Okay, I'll stop being mean now. I'll stop being mean because that's mean. You call me mean, you'll get mean. You call me something I'm not, you'll get it in spades. Remember that, and I don't give a fuck whether you ever call me again or not. 
Well, you kind of do. <laughs> you you kind of do. We're up to seven voicemails uh, within a three, four hour period. Uh, you kind of care. <laughs> and number eight, this is a long voicemail, so I think he finally gets it all out here. Those are all just little teases. The final voicemail. Maybe this is an apology for his language earlier. Oh, I, uh, you'd like to think. This to me. Fucking disloyal so fucking weak. So fucking blind. So fucking thankless. Such a fucking slut. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't ever sleep again. <laughs> don't sleep as long as I don't sleep. Don't sleep. <laughs> fucking get sick. <laughs> Fucking get sick. <laughs> I hope you blow your nose. Fucking get sick. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He, he doesn't know what to say. He He's so mad at her. He's just so angry, he, but he doesn't know what to say to her. Fucking get <laughs> sick. Fucking get sick. I hope you don't sleep. Yeah, I hope you have a summer cold. <laughs> <laughs> get sick. I don't sleep. Ordinary. ordinary cunt. God, he has the greatest <laughs> insults. You fucking ordinary cunt. You're just fucking ordinary. And that goes with a talent to it. Ordinary. It's not extraordinary. It's pretty fucking common. <laughs> you know what sucks about that? You know he was all in at one point. Yes, he you was. You know he's staring at that pussy and going, you know what? Yeah, I think you are very talented. You're very talented. Wow. Oh, and now the truth is coming out. I'll That's got to hurt her. I'll back whatever you need. <laughs> right? I'll back he it. He was all in. Because this is going to... No, you have a gift. <laughs> Just had blinders on. Oh, yeah. I think at one point he really believed that she had talent. Raging hard on <laughs> right, that, and well, fucking blinders. <laughs> right. Dude, You're right. She sucked a recording studio out of him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. To see you play a concert sometime. You make a fucking mistakes all over with live performance. You can't do it. So touring is out of the question for you. You'll fuck it up. I haven't seen you not fuck up yet live. I haven't seen you not fuck it up yet. <laughs> he won't leave it alone. It's flawless. Do you understand? You have to be fucking flawless. You don't know how to do that. You ain't in that league. So give it up. Do what you're good at. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great. I was waiting for the answer. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't disappoint. I thought he was going to go with the sucking cock. Yeah, like sucking cock. What did he say at the end? He goes, you didn't hear that? I missed the last word. Oh, uh, hold on. Do what you're good at. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh, oh I that know what that is. Deception. Oh, he goes, I know what that is. Deception. Oh, he just thought it. Okay. Mel Gibson, Anthony. Yes. Voicemail. The final voicemail where he tries to make good. Tries to make good after all that. After all that, he left this voicemail that we're about to hear. Listen to. 
Who the fuck does he sound like? It's driving me nuts. A lunatic. A lunatic, of course. After all we've been he listening goes, I, to. I don't have any voice. Of no course voice he doesn't have any voice He's been left. screaming cunt at her <laughs> the entire time. Uh, I, uh, here's Mel Gibson. So what's the deal with this tape? Yeah. Uh, Who recorded I don't, I don't even know the, the details on this one. I just know it's Sam, another. You know, it's recorded it from the house, it sounds like. It sounds like someone who's in the house. It, Why he, would he use a phone at this point? Well, the, no, he's not on the phone. That's what annoys me. Is like now it's just listening to Mel in his private life. Uh, he was yelling at the guy who he wrote his newest movie with. Okay. About the movie. And the guy's son recorded the conversation. Joe Esterhaus. And there's been, he's been talking. He's the same guy who said that, like, uh, Mel Gibson was yelling at him about uh, hating Jews and praising the guy who killed John Lennon. And Mel said that's not true. He never said that. And so now his son recorded this conversation. What is he saying there? Why don't I have a first draft of the Maccabees, which is the movie they're writing? Hey, what the fuck have you been doing? I'll type it. Enter. I got work. You're getting paid. Was that? I he said, "Like I'm yeah. earning money, for something like for a fucking bitch for, who takes a what?" He says, "I'm earning money for a filthy little cocksucker who takes advantage of me." Yeah, meaning his ex. Oh, yes. that ex. Asana, yeah. Asana, Asana, he doesn't. Her. He doesn't like her at all. <laughs> but he's got to yell with that waterfall in the background. Yeah, I know, right? What the That's fuck it. was that? Jeez. I really relate to that, though. That fucking dopey that anger. anger. Yeah, man. But then Just, he goes on talk shows and he's the lovable Mel Gibson. Yeah. And, yeah. You know? I love him. The Maccabees. What a terrible name. For <laughs> the <movie>. Maccabees. <laughs> the Maccabees. <laughs> What's what the about? fuck is that? I don't even What's want to know. A, a Jewish uh, the fucking Maccabees, the tribes. Or whatever. I don't know a lot about it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Jew movie. About is it a Jew them. movie? Yes, the Maccabees. Oh, Look I thought it. it was a bunch of bees on the computer or something. Wow. Oh, what the Jesus. Yeah, the, uh, the PC of bees. <laughs> oh, boy. The you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard that. Oh, we all heard. That's, oh my god. That's actually genius, oh man. D-Boy is a star today. Dude, there's no, I guarantee you there's no show making better fucking, fucking Mel Rick mixes than this. It can't be.